Hi there, everybody. My name is Ann Anderson, and I'm here in the studio of the Methow Arts Alliance, which is a nonprofit arts organization in Twist, Washington. And today, we are going to work on a piece of writing together. It's called Two Word Poems. Um, I think you're going to like it. I think you're going to find it quite easy to do and maybe something that you can use a lot in the future on your own. But right now, before we get started, I want to give you a little bit of time to run and get a piece of paper and a pencil if you don't have one, so you can stop the video, go and do that, and then when, you're, when you have everything you need, come back and start the video again, and we'll get started. Okay, welcome back. I hope you're all ready to think and write. So again, I said before that we were going to work on a, a kind of poetry today. It's called two-word poetry. And um, bef uh, at the very beginning here, I'm going to read a poem to you that I wrote myself in this last week. And what I want you to do when I'm reading is to see what you notice about this poem. What things do you notice that I did in this poem? And after I read it, we'll stop and think about the things that you might have noticed and that I noticed. Okay, so here's a poem that I wrote this last week. And I wrote it about the county fair. And the reason I thought about the county fair as a topic for my poem is that we didn't get to go to the fair this year, did we? None of us did. And the county fair is something that I absolutely love. So I decided I would write a poem to remind myself of all of the things that I love about the county fair. And you might, as I'm reading my poem, you might think of some things that you would have added uh, to a poem like this about the fair. The county fair, pocket money, growing excitement, craft exhibits, jelly jars, prize ribbons, food tents, caramel apples, dripping corn, hot dogs, face painting, drifting balloons, music blasting, dizzying rides, sawdust sneezes, tables folding, people leaving, fairs over, next year. Okay, so what did you notice when you were looking at my poem and listening to me read it? I bet you noticed that it looked kind of like a long list and it is kind of a list, uh, but it's a list of two word lines, phrases with two words. So that's kind of an unusual thing about this kind of poem. The other thing you might have noticed is that these lines of poetry are not sentences. They are just two words. Um, and finally, you might have noticed that my poem kind of tells a story, a little bit of a story uh, about the fair. It, it kind of starts maybe when I walk into the fair and walk around and then at the end it sounds like maybe the fair is shutting down and I'm leaving. So if you noticed all of those things that's great because then you can use those ideas in your poem as well. But let's go back and talk about how you start writing a poem like this. And so I'm going to show you the, the sheet that I use, the planning sheet that I use to come up with the ideas for my poem. And this is when you will need to have your paper and pencil ready. Okay, so how do we go about planning a poem like the one I just shared with you? I can share the way that I do it. I think you could use this way or you might have a different way of doing it, but let me share my way. First of all, I start out with my topic. And I told you that I had already decided I wanted to write about the fair. So I put my topic in the middle of a sheet of paper. And then I just thought about all of the words that came to my mind when I thought about the fair. And I wrote them down. I wrote them all around the outside. I didn't care where on the page they were. If they came to my mind, I just wrote them down. And you can see, I came up with a lot of words. And so this is what I would like for you to do as well. I'd like for you to think of a topic that you would like to write about Put that topic, it can be anything. It can be 
about your pets. It can be about a place that you've been, like the fair. It can be about uh, a favorite sport you have. Really, any topic that you want to write about is OK. But put that topic in the middle of your page. Put a circle around it so you can keep going back to it. <clears throat> and then just write down words wherever, whatever, uh, whenever they come to you whatever you think about. And it doesn't matter, the spelling right here doesn't matter at all. This is just a planning sheet for your poem. All right, so right now I would like for you to stop the video, get your pencil and paper out, think of a topic, and do this planning sheet for your topic. And when you have a lot of words written around your topic on your page, then come back and we'll talk about what we do next. Okay, before you go off uh, to work on your own poem, I have one more thing to share with you. It's another example of a two-word poem, and uh, because it's always great to have as many examples as possible. This one uh, was written by a student in a class that I taught. Uh, he was about your age, and he wrote his poem about fishing. So I'm going to read the poem to you. You can look at it on the screen. And this might give you another idea of how you might write your poem. Fishing, hard catch, big fish, giant lakes, waiting, waiting, long rods, throw, throw, strong hand, land, whopper. All right, so now you have a couple of examples. You have your planning sheet. So it's time for you to go and create your own two-word poem. And when you finish, come back, turn the video back on, and let's talk just a little bit more. Hi again. I hope you had success in putting your own two-word poem together. I wish I was there to hear it. If we were in a classroom together, we would be in a big circle, and each person would go around the circle and share their poem. But since we aren't together, I hope that you'll find someone to share your poem with. It would be great to share it with your mom or dad, your grandparents, your brothers and sisters, and hopefully you'll have a way to share it with your teacher and your classmates as well. The other thing that you can do with your poem, and I hope you do, is to find a way to illustrate it. Maybe, uh, maybe a picture on the side or a picture at the bottom or a cover sheet to go on top with, your, with a picture of your topic and your name. But be sure to celebrate your poem in some way because you are a writer, you are a great writer. And um, it's important that you, that you publish and share your writing. So hopefully next time we get together, I will be in the classroom with you. Um, we, can, we can share writing in, in person. But until then, keep on writing.